cooking it. Oh God, what are we making today? Let's check the comments. This is just family friendly, Mike. When did you become Michael? This guy's just Michael Reeves without tasers. Huh. Now for those of you who don't know, this is basically Michael Reeves. <laughs> oh God! Oh. It's kind of like alcoholism, but uh, less productive. But you know what? Maybe I do have it all wrong. Like, people don't want to see good ideas. I mean, this is YouTube. Hey, Does y'all think I'm already ripping off Michael Reeves? No, no, no. I'll show you ripping off Michael Reeves. Let's first find some good, sorry, bad ideas. Disclaimer, I'm not changing my channel. It's probably like a one-time thing. I'm not gonna swear either, cause you know, there's kids watching. So it might suck, might be good, who knows. Let me know what you think though, and uh, let me know what I should do next. First idea, a robot that talks over you when you talk. Let's do it. First, I started out with the code. Basically, it reads the ambient room volume from a microphone, and if it's over a threshold, basically people polluting the room with their mouth noise, it detects this and, uh, fires back. The problem we run into, though, is how do we make this robot shut up when no one's talking? Because, you know, we don't want just, like, a mildly annoying robot that just always talks. We're going for that, like, uh, so after two to five seconds, the robot will momentarily shut up, read the noise in the room. If they're still talking, it'll harass them some more until they finally get the message and then silence. Now for the robot itself, I thought like, who would be the worst person to live with? And I think the Joker would just be a truly terrible roommate. So to actually make this work, I 3D printed a mouth, added a servo to make it move, and slapped it all into a mannequin head. Now this is definitely one of the weirder things I've done. And added a Joker mask on top. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? This is a All horrible idea. Off. We moved in together, and uh, here's exactly how that went. So you've recently yeah. come to college. Yes. How are you and your new roommate getting along? I did the random room pick. Meeting the new roommate today. I think he's already in here. What's up, dude? My name is, I'm Jake. Um, no, I said my name's Jake. How are you guys Something getting like along? I really don't know the guy too well, but he seems, um, I'm a little mysterious. You look familiar. Did I see you anywhere? <laughs> I see him that one. Were you finding that bat? I haven't really seen him close his eyes. Are you guys on the same sleep schedule? So what do you think of the bathroom situation, man? No, you can quite answer that. He, he goes in the bathroom at night, and I don't see him come out for like four or five hours. No. He keeps talking about this bat. A large bat, I think. It's in a very large bat. Do you have any mortal enemies? Who would you say is cleaner? Someone might mop and then... Do you guys have a laundry system? What are the noises you hear? A lot of cackling. Describe a cackle. I uh, picture Michael Jackson, but speed it up a lot. So. <laughs> like, I keep seeing him in these weird places, dude. He's always just, you know, hanging around. For the rare times you do see him sleep, I remember you said you don't see him sleep very often. No, he's in his bed, dead ass eyes open. I talk to him and he always talks over me. It's the most annoying thing in the world. You got any spring Blake plans? Spring Blake? Yeah. really look like a guy with a plan. Pack it. Oh, schmutz right there. Let me get that for you. Oh, nope, that's blood. That's blood. <laughs> that's blood. That's blood. <laughs> so <laughs> Yo, I think we better get the fuck out of here. Oh, good room draw. All right, no, I'll catch you later, man. Yep. Well, that was horrifying. Michael, man, how do you do this? Second idea. TV that gets louder when someone talks during a movie. Perfect. This is actually pretty easy to make. So here are the 16 lines of code that's gonna save your marriage. Same as Frankenhead, it detects the ambient noise in the room. Set the talking threshold just above the volume of the TV. So that anytime someone talks, their voice plus the TV surpasses the threshold. That new threshold is set and the program jacks up the volume to match. So the threshold volume is always higher than the TV by itself. Cause if we had a constant threshold, it would just go in an endless cycle that would just jack the volume up. <laughs> I mean, that'd be a pretty silly program, don't you think? Good thing we did this instead. Let's go bother my friends some more and test it out. This is a fantastic movie, dude. So what he's, what he's got here, he's got his flex capacitor. I got to explain how it works if you want. No, it's okay. No, no, see, the thing is, it's like sort of unrealistic, though, like the way they portray time travel. Like the faster you move, like, like the slower time actually travels, which is, which is really crazy. Honestly, though, it's sort of unrealistic. You like the crazy? I like it. You know, it's a Alright, what do we got next? A table that automatically moves so you stub your toe. No, dude! Alright, okay, let's get some supplies. <laughs> gotta watch out, the people here are crazy.
come on. <laughs> so I'm really not proud of the amount of time I spent on this. It's actually kind of frustrating to get it to work. And normally I'm super happy when my projects work. But like this thing's just gonna suck. Oh God. Think about it guys. I spent probably eight hours and over $200 on this table that's gonna stub my toe. It's bad for my health. Please just don't let this video flop. At first I tried to mod some RC cars to get this table to move. It ended up being too heavy so I scrapped that idea. Instead we're gonna be using an electric scooter with the throttle wired to a relay wired to an ultrasonic sensor. So if anyone gets a bit too close, it's gonna ram into their shin. Oh yeah, it's also only got three wheels and I strapped a brick to the front. Cause if it didn't have this, it should keep wheeling out cause it's got so much torque. I guess let's test it out. So you really just sort of turn it on like such, it has a range of a hundred centimeters in front of this so you can hear that relay clicking on and off. Oh Jesus though, basically it's got a brick and it's just sort of, ow, did it, ow, God, right in the shin. No, 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 no. That really hurt. Ow. Because I know you guys want to see it one more time. I'm just going to do it, all right? Yep, there it is. I knew it was coming, so it wasn't even that bad. Ah. Oh, my God. That's a car. It's nice. No, I just want to fix it. It's nice. It's nice. Oh. Is it yelling at you? Broke it once. Oh, God. <laughs> it wins. Can you fix it? Can you fix it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Some things it's not good at, uh, Jenga. I challenge you to a friendly match of Jenga, go. Dude, you suck and I know that you will. God, you always smell like pee. Seriously, can we get into that? Because a lot of people have been telling me I smell like piss. Dude, it's not that you smell like pee, it's almost that the urine smell follows. Yeah. Um, um, hey guys. Shut up, dude. Come on. Uh, you never, you, I texted you a bunch. What, what happened with that? Ah. Uh, that's pretty good too. It's not that good. No, no. It's it's like a, what if you need that one? Oh, oh, oh God! God! I'm, sorry. God! I'm so no, sorry. You don't know what we care about. <laughs> you can bullfight with it. You gotta fight it. You gotta shake it bad, baby. Shake it bad. You gotta, you gotta bring it back. You gotta bring it back. Shake it nasty. Oh! It doesn't want to give you it right away, oh. but then it does. Oh! 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 That was oh. too easy. Oh my oh. God! That's good. Oh, it's, it likes you. It wants you. It wants you bad. <laughs> what if you taped a hat on it? It's like, bro, it's not worth it, bro. Bro, it's not worth <laughs> it. And it goes really at you, dude. Yeah, so That ejects itself instead of the bread. Oh, that's good. That's that's really good. So the way I see it, instead of the toast popping out of the top, we want the bread to stay still and the toaster to go flying. First, I thought maybe we could do this with like some wooden dowels and springs on like each of the legs, uh, but that only made it go like maybe eight inches or foot in the air. And I think we're looking for a bit more excitement. So instead I added a giant pressure tank with a solenoid valve that shoots air out of these two ports. Toaster slides on down over and I attached some wires to the toaster spring pop-up mechanism that connect to the two terminals, that connect to the toaster, that connects to the solenoid valve. Uh, so when the toast is done popping, the little thing that normally would pop up the bread pops up, connects the circuit, releasing the air, ejecting the toaster. So cut out the toaster bottom so the bread stays there, falling directly on your plate. Now let's just do like a first test to see what we're working with. Plug this in, everything set up. God. Down, start cooking it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did I at least toast it? <laughs> I actually haven't even had breakfast yet. No, no, no. You, you, wanna, you wanna want some toast. How many pieces? Two pieces? Three you know what? Pieces? Oatmeal's fine. Three pieces? Oatmeal will be fine. Three pieces? Three, three, three pieces. Oh, God. <laughs> Breakfast! I'm not gonna wanna miss this, let's just say. <laughs> it's gonna be a blast. Add a little bit of the secret sauce. Oh. It's actually toasted. It's like, really nice. I'm going it's to eat this after we're done with this. Just Perfect. Isn't that losing the lights of the shot? By the end of this, you'll be a household name. Put a dent in your wallet. Put a dent in your ceiling. <laughs> Can't promise anything, you know? I can only promise toasted toast. Oop! <laughs> I'm good at that. Some closing thoughts. Mostly regret. I don't feel good about this one, guys. I think humanity is probably worse off after this. If you did like it, subscribe, like, 
all that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. You know what? We'll just catch you. We'll catch you in the next one.